Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. Let's solve lead code problem number 1125, smallest sufficiency. In this problem, we are given a required skills array. That is, for example, we require Java, Node and React. And we are also given a people array. This means the person 0 has Java skills. I have just written the short form. That is, this person has Java skills and this person has Node skills. And the last person, that is the second person, has both Node as well as React skills. Now, you have to form a team which will have all the three skills that is mentioned here. That is, they should have all the three skills, but you have to form the shortest team. If you look here, you can we can combine all of the three together and we can have all the three skills, but that is not the requirement. The requirement is you have to form the shortest team. If you have to form the shortest team, then, or the smallest team, then these two people are sufficient, right? That is J. The four, zeroth person will bring J skills, Java skills, and the second person will build Node and React skills. So only these two people are sufficient for this team. That is 0 and 2. So this will be our answer in this case. The second example, let me take you. This is a very beautiful example. See, I have written the short form. This is Amaz, uh, algorithms, math, Java, React, C sharp. And for AWS, I have just written as Z. Okay, so these are the skill sets that is brought by each person. That is, for example, the first person has algorithm, math and Java skills and so on. Okay, now various teams can be formed by combining these people. But the thing is, they should combine in such a way that all the skills are produced. For example, let's say these two people combine. If these two people combine, they will bring three skill sets together, but there will be two people. And who are those two people? 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. 3 and 4 combined together can bring the skill set. That is the thing. Now, we have to get all the skill set which can be formed with these two people. That is A, M, R, J, C, Z. All the skill set that is required can be just formed by two people. That is person 1 and person 2. So, this will be our answer. See, this can be obtained by various other combination as well. For example, we will take this person this person and this person but this will become a team of size 3 but that is not what is required we require the smallest team which is 2 in this case and that will be our answer okay let's get into the observations now i have just taken this and put it here so that it will become a good example now what is one quick observation that you can draw the first observation is is, is this person really useful? No, right? This person is having skills similar to this person, but he is also having less number of skills. So can we directly remove this person? Yes, right? Why? Because he is not bringing any new skills and he is also having skills lesser than one more person. So this person can be removed. So that is the first observation. Now, let's look into the second observation very carefully. Okay. For example, this person this person and this person they three combine together and form a team that is amj jcz plus rc what will be the team the team will form amj czr that is they will be having all the skills but the thing is it requires three people that is one two and three or to be precise zero comma one comma two now this person walks up that is AMR, who is the fifth person. That is, he will be coming with the skills AMR. And he sell, tells to JCZ, what we will do, we will combine together and we will form a team. Now, does this team have all the skills? Yes, right, AMR, JCZ. Now, what is the size of this team? The size of this team is just two and that will be our answer. But how did we arrive at this? To arrive at this, we should be knowing already possible teams this amr was a already possible team and this person will go to every team and say if i join your team what is the impact that we are going to do or what is the new skill that we are going to bring that is jcz walked up to this person and he said we can combine together and we can form the skills and if this skill or this skill is solved by people using more number of people then we will replace that. For example, one more example. Let me give one more example. Say there are five people who is solving this problem. A, M, R, J, C, Z. 
and let's say k l m n and there is a small team which is a team of size 2 which is having these skills this is just a people of size 2 amr plus j c z n k these two people are solving the skills now if a one more person can walk with the skill l m n what he is going to do he is come to this team and says hey we can form this team and when we can form this team with just three people can we replace this team of five people yes they can replace so what is the requirement is we have to have all the possible teams at every point and every possible team but every possible smallest team for that project for example if we take the first example that is amg the smallest team that is required to form this team is just one let me take this example and do a dry run let's copy this and paste it here and let's see how it goes now there is only one person that is the first person and what does he say he says i can form a team of skills amg and all it is required is one person and that is person 0 now jcz comes and says i can just form a team of one person and that will be my skills now they both can combine together and they can form a team that is a m j c z what will be the team the team will comprise of 0 and 1 now rc comes and they will go to he or she will go to the, all the three teams and they will say that i can combine with you and i can form a new team for example a m j r c can they combine together and form a new team yes but the team size will be big now r c can go to this r c j c z again the team size it will increase 1 and 2 now as this is happening uh, there will be more examples we will be forming every team and every possible but whenever we are able to form a combination that is having a size lesser than this combination what we will do we will remove this and we will add the new team for example if you look here a m r j c z was formed between 0 1 and two people but a team of a m j plus r c z was able to replace this. so the first thing is we need to keep a track of all the teams and all the players that can be all the teams and all the sizes and whenever a new team player comes can he replace any of the existing teams that is they will go to every team and see if the new combination of skills is smaller than the existing combination for and one more thing sometimes this combination for example amj and jcz this was not at all there so that's a very new team formed so there is no need to replace however if there is already a team that is having this skill set and they are having more number of people then that team can be replaced so that is the key idea of this problem let's go to solve this problem step by step now first thing we stored as very simply a m and we reduced it to short form right we reduced algorithms to a and maths to m and everything but will it be possible with actual skills no right it won't be possible with actual skills why because what if everything starts with a that would be a very difficult thing that is first thing and to operate with strings it is a very difficult thing right so what we will be doing will be giving a code for each of the skill for example algorithm will be given a code of 0 math will be given a code of 1 java will be given a code of 2 react 3 c sharp will be given a code of 4 aws will be given a code of 5 so whenever a person comes with skill say amj his representation will be 1 2 3 that is just 1 2 3 now do we have to represent it like this one idea is we can represent it like this or one more thing that we can do we will, since there are just six skills right we'll have six dashes and what does e dash represent zero represent yes this person has this skill and doesn't have this skills and one represent he has this skills no skills for example a person came with the skill amg what will this be it will be 
वन 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 विच मीन्स ही इज हैविंग स्किल नंबर वन और जीरो वन एंड टू सिमिलरली फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम वन कम्स विथ जीरो 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 एंड वन वॉट डज दिस इंडिकेट दिस इंडिकेट्स दे हैव स्किल नंबर जीरो एंड ऑल्सो दे हैव स्किल नंबर फाइव जीरो एंड फाइव दिस बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन इंडिकेट सो हाउ डू वी एक्चुअली कन्वर्ट दिस सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव ए पीपल सेट ऑफ ए एम एंड जी वॉट वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू डू इज वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड इन दिस हैश मैप वॉट डज ए मीन और अमेजॉन सॉरी ए डब्ल्यू स्किल्स ए डब्ल्यू स्किल्स हैज ए नंबर ऑफ फाइव सो वॉट वी गो इज वी गो टू द फिफ्थ बेट एंड वी विल जस्ट सेट इट टू वन हाउ डू वी डू दैट वी जस्ट यूज बिट मास्किंग फॉर दैट विल जस्ट पास ओवर दिस एंड वी विल डू और विद दैट पर्टिकुलर नंबर सो वी विल हैव दिस नंबर एट द फाइनल एंड बट वॉट इज दिस नंबर रिप्रेजेंट दिस नंबर रिप्रेजेंट दैट दिस पर्सन इज हैविंग स्किल जीरो एंड फाइव once this is done this will actually result in a number which can which uh, will be 16 or 17 in this case so this represents any number for example one represent this person is having just skills like this so once we are done this with this let's go to the step by step how we can solve this the first thing that we'll be doing is convert all the skill names to numbers and store it in a hash map for example just why like we did we stored algorithms and gave it a number as 0 and we took math and we gave it a number of 1 so this is the first thing that we'll be doing this is the first thing so how do we do this let me dive into the pseudo code we initiate a hash map and for each skill we are just taking the skill and we are adding a number to it skill is the string and value will be that particular number so that is the first step that we'll be doing what is the second step that we'll be doing we will be creating a dp of length 2 par n why and how why are we creating that see if you look here i said there are six dashes right and each of this representing six skills uh, each skill right so the chances are the possibilities is this is the maximum number of skills right that is each skill either it exists or does not exist so the maximum possibility is between these numbers that is 2 to the power of n so we will be storing this in a dp array and for example one let's take one more example let's say five what is the binary representation of five 1 0 1 this is the binary representation of five so this indicates that the skill 0 and 2 are possessed and there will be a list that we will be having this two skills are possessed by two people that is these two people are combining to form these two skills that is what we will be storing in the dp let me give one more example say there is 7 and we will be having an array list this array list indicates the team of people who have combined together to form the skill 7 what does 7 means 7 just means this number this number means there are having three skills and each skills are represented by one particular skill that is each digit has a mapping with one of the skills now once we have initiated a dp of 2n the next thing that we will be doing is map skills of each person for example as we discussed a person comes with skill a m j and this is zero number and this is given third number and say this is given fifth number so what is the binary representation of this this will be this right so we should be doing this as well so for each person we will convert this the skill set that is bringing to a binary number so that is the third step that we'll be doing then the fourth step what we'll be doing is for each person we'll be going to every team and identifying if this person can reduce the team size for example there is already an existing team and if the new person can come and form a team that is having less number of size then we will reduce that particular team size if not we will not be doing anything and we will just be for not forming a new team then there is one more optimization that we have discussed that we forget before that let me show the pseudo code what we are doing here is we are asso associating the skill of each person and converting it to a binary representation that is we are getting the skills of the people say there are three skills and for each skill we are marking that binary bit as one for example if he possesses zero yth skill 
his bit will be marked as one similarly all the skills and we will have a binary representation of that number then what we are doing we are going to all the projects and forming a combination that is a new team is formed but if this team is already existing what we will do we will if the team is already existing and the size is greater than what can be formed then we'll will replace the team if not the team will continue be the same finally what we will be doing there is one more optimization you can return the answer after this that is the answer will be dp whatever is the array list at the starting that is the final where one 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 the bit represented binary number represented by this will be our answer there is one more optimization that we can do that is ban people if skills are subset of another person just like we saw a person is having amj and someone who comes with skills amj is this person really useful no right so we'll just be having this person so that is what banning a person means and if a person is already banned then we need not go to every team and check because he is already banned that is one optimization that we can do that is we will be doing this to ban people you can go through the algorithm then finally let's dive into the code before diving into the code there are three similar problems that have same approach as this problems do consider solving this problem and we have a dedicated telegram group where we'll be discussing the solution to this problem and also we'll be conducting free workshop for example recently we had a workshop and recursion and backtracking so if you are interested in that please do consider joining the telegram group i have mentioned the link in the description now let's dive into the code part i have divided the code into three different part that is first part is what we are doing we are creating the hash map and associating each one with the skills for example algorithms is associated with zero that is what we are doing then we are initiating a dp array what does this contain this contains a number and this contains an array list this being the team player and this being the skills now once this is done this is the skill of each person for example zeroth person has this skills the first person has this skills but this has to be represented as a binary number or a number that is what we are doing in this step that is we are associating and converting each number now let's go into the last uh, step that what we will be doing if the person is banned we will not take him through all the teams if is if they are not banned what we will be doing we will be going to every team and checking if they can reduce the team size that is if they can form a new team and can reduce the team size if that is possible then we will finally change the team and finally we will return the answer that is equal to the biggest number in the dp and we will be returning the answer thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe